Okay, uh, so the next part of this is actually do the experiment. Um, I'm going to make five more solutions. Uh, you know, typically when we do these experiments is that you just, we just do what the experiment's procedure says. And then what we're going to do is we'll analyze the data after we do the experiment. Um, we hopefully will see trends um, as we do the experiment that suggest we're doing it right. Uh, for one, um, I think may have done the first experiment right because I saw as the increase in concentration uh, from 1A to 5A, uh, the absorbance got higher. All right. So, uh, so this this part I'm going to make make up five other solutions. Um, the, each one of these will have 50 mils of 0 0.002 more iron nitrate. Okay, that's the same as this, but uh, diluted by almost 100 times, okay? And then what we're going to do is add varying amounts of the thiocyanate uh, to each one, and then bring them all to 100, okay? So I'm going to put 50 mils of the 0 0.002 molar iron nitrate into each one. And if you don't know, if we don't, not going to worry about what's happening, we're just going to do the experiment. Okay, so. And these go to one, so this is going to be fifty point zero. Okay, the two. Again, I poured it into a beaker because it's easier to pour from the beaker. <clears throat> the graduated cylinder. And I'm hitting the uh, right at 50 for each one. I'm not going to use the uh, pipette. Uh, I mean, I'm doing, doing it really good, so I'm as good as I could do even with the pipette. Right. Okay. And I'm not rinsing the graduated celery because each one I'm pouring the same amount in. So there might be a little bit left in the, the bottom here, but each one will have the same amount. Now the first one might be a little bit different, but um, it's not going to change the results tons. But again, it's always best to try to be as precise as you can. Set those guys aside. All right, um, I'm going to rinse this guy out with my nitric acid, then I'm going to um, end in. So I just, we have our nitric acid and Now I want to get 
And one, number one, gets 10 mils. So we get 10 mils, 20, 30, 40, 50 of this. And I'm going to use the graduated cylinder again. in here, it'd be easier to use that than, okay, so 10. So I just rinsed out the graduated cylinder, and now, there's 10 moles. Ooh, it's changing colors. All right, um, Thirty mils. Forty mils, and then the last one is fifty. Okay. You can see that the color change uh, progressively gets darker. Okay. All right. So, um, okay. So, I want to get them on each of the hundred. This one should be a hundred, but um, it's not, and that's only that's because some of the bullet left over in the uh, graduate cylinder, but. I'm figuring that all of them are going to have about the same difference, and so I'm not using a funnel this time. Okay, I'm filling up with the nitric acid like I did before. Plus 50, 70, so I need to add about 30. Again, be careful. I fill it to the bottom of the neck and then use the pipette to get it to my final concentration.
I yeah, figure you guys probably turned this off and not watching it. But, you know, one of the reasons I'm doing this is, is to show you is how to make solutions. Uh, and that's, that's as important part of these labs, one, is being able to prepare everything to do the experiments. And then you do the experiments, okay? And you gotta make sure that you're getting the right amounts and being as precise as you can. So, number four and five, I'm just gonna use the pipe pet. Number four is gonna take a little bit longer. Because I have to add up to 10 mils. And then number five is just basically topping it off. So, okay, here we go. Right now, uh, the instruction tell us that uh, we need to let it sit for a while so the reaction can take place. Okay, so. After I make this, I'll turn this one off for a minute. I'll set up the cubettes like I did before. And then what we're going to do is measure the uh, absorbance and record those. And then we'll be done with the experiment. And I'll do a PowerPoint on how to uh, navigate and write up this experiment and see what we did. Okay. So Chem 20, 122 is really, we spend a lot of time in the lab. And one of the things I've noticed doing this online thing is that I'm going faster than I usually do with the content. And the reason why I'm doing that is because we're not doing labs. If we were doing labs, we would spend almost a third of our class time doing labs. Okay, this time last year, uh, we had just we just started equilibrium. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna let those sit for a minute, turn off the video, and then um, set up the uh, five cuvettes. Uh, turn on the video. We'll show the recordings, and then uh, read, write that down, and then we'll be done with the experiment.